this presentation we're going to be looking at continuous integration and how we use Team City uh, here at Palazzo in continuous integration. Uh, in our software there's really two things that we continuously integrate. There are two parts of the software development process. Uh, one, we continuously integrate code from all developers and we're looking for does it build and does it run the tests. Secondly, we're continuously building against the latest libraries where we use dependent libraries that are perhaps under occasional or even rapid development. We're doing the same thing, we're pulling in the latest libraries that are built maybe on the server or elsewhere and again it's checking does it build and does it run the tests. Now the thing with doing this as part of continuous integration is that you know earlier or at the earliest possible opportunity if a dependent library or a developer has broken the build rather than waiting till test time or further on in the software process. Right, well, well have a look at an example. Uh, we'll look at the We Say development. Configuration settings. And, and we look at the Mercurial route. Here we can see that um, we're getting our source code from Mercurial. The key thing here is we're getting it from a particular branch. So we're only building, we say, it's on the dev branch. Uh, this is because we have a two track development process. Our latest and greatest is on the dev branch, and our stable is on the stable branch. Uh, if we go and look at the stable, we'll see that it's uh, got the default branch or the stable branch there. Now this frees developers who want to go off on a bit of a sideline, they might do some of their work in progress on another branch again, and it won't be built by the continuous integration server. Then when they merge it, their work back into dev, it'll be built here. Uh, the expectation is that it'll pass. If it doesn't pass, well, a day or two, it doesn't really matter, but uh, the idea is it should pass pretty much all the time. So here in the builds we can see some history, we can see sometimes tests pass, and sometimes they don't. So here's an example of a failed test that was fixed reasonably promptly. Now the second thing we're looking for is third party libraries. And these, in Team City speak, are called dependencies. Here we see that we say it has a number of dependencies. It's dependent on Chorus. We get EXEs and DLLs. We're dependent on our ICU build, and the Lift.io library, and the Palazzo libraries. So the thing is, whenever any of these change, it will prompt a new build of we say, and also and uh, we'll pull in the latest version, all stamped, uh, ready to go, and we'll be building we say against that regardless of whatever's been checked in. So what happens when a build fails? Well, when a build fails, uh, either the tests fail or the build itself fails, uh, you get this handy dandy little red alarm here, but it notifies you, it can notify you by email or by instant messenger. Uh, I use Pigeon and um, Team City itself uh, will talk to Google Talk quite happily. So if you've got a Google account, uh, you can get your notification that way or in an email. And Team City itself provides a, a system tray notifier as well. If you happen to be on a LAN, that can be quite good. 